with signs of spring everywhere, it's time to embrace the start of a new pond season, before the warmth of Easter brings the traditional start of the outdoor season. Here are some top tips for outdoor and indoor fish keepers to get the best out of your hobby during March. Inspect hoses and connectors for possible leaks, typically on the outside of bends or joints. Replace old seal rings and lamps of ultraviolet units. If you live in a hard water area, limescale buildup may also need attention. If conditions are mild, filtration can be reinstated, but keep pumps high in the water column to avoid chilling if the weather turns cold. Make sure that any filters that have been overwintered are cleaned and drained before returning them to circulation, as foul water can cause problems. Low temperatures and a lack of flow will have led to a die-off of filter bacteria. So add a bacterial booster, or consider using a chemical filter resin, such as zeolite, while bacterial populations increase. Start algae control measures. If you use a holistic algae controller, such as barley straw or phosphate remover, consider adding these now before your algae starts to grow. The early season lag to plant growth means that blanket weed and green water can get a head start in the competition for nutrients before your more attractive pond plants start growing. Watch out for spawning amphibians and leave them to it. Frogs and toads pose little risk to healthy fish, and the vast masses of spawn are their way of playing the odds. Lots of things eat their young, and our pond fish are high up on that list. For the very best of both worlds, consider adding a dedicated pond for frogs and newts. It needn't be too large, and you'll be doing your bit to help these declining species. With tadpoles that already produce the skin secretions of their parents, Toad tadpoles can thrive in ponds alongside fish, and adults prefer to spawn in these ponds where predatory insects such as dragonfly and beetle larvae are scarcer. If mild weather continues, both fish and filter bacteria will start to become hungry and active. Offer an easily digested cold weather food and add a bacterial starter to the pond to help kickstart the biological processes that make for reliable water quality. It's a great time of year to add a new pond. Plants are just appearing in store and you have a whole season to watch things develop. Traditionally, the rather mobile date of Easter is when we start to make pond fish available, so time is on your side too. Congested clumps of marginals and hungry lilies can be repotted now. Lilies in particular are demanding and the more vigorous types, unlike the slower growing and correspondingly more expensive pygmies, need regular controlling and feeding. Cut back any untrimmed marginals such as sedges before new growth makes things tricky. A flush of new leaves will rejuvenate the suddenly bare patches. Check your flake food. If you've had a pot of dried food open for more than a couple of months, it may well be a bit short of vitamins. Check the sell-by date on the bottom while you're at it, and remember that although large pots of food may work out cheaper, nutrients tend to diminish over time, and exposure to air and wet fingers will take its toll. Buy smaller pots that are likely to be used quickly for best results and consider storing bulk foods in the fridge or freezer if they're likely to be used quickly. Even with the fanciest filtration or the poshest diet, the best fish keepers are those who spend the most time watching their pets and performing basic maintenance such as regular water changes. If you're a proud pet keeper you probably don't need telling, but take photos of your aquarium. These are an easy way of recording any changes and capturing your pets for future reference. Not only that, but you can send them in to us and share your creations. Add a little extra to your display by looking at lighting options. LEDs look set to change the way aquaria are lit and give never before seen flexibility and versatility. Fancy a blue lamp to simulate a little moonlight? How about a colour changing curtain of air bubbles to add some 70s disco chic? or perhaps a white beam of light on that more demanding red leaf plant in a sea of green. Tune in next time for our top tips for April and happy fish keeping. <laughs>